Hey everyone. So on my last episode of the North Wing project, uh, there was a comment about animating the doors. And so today what I want to do is take a quick moment to show a video uh, to show you guys how to do this. So this is a Revit model in twin motion. And as I go, notice the door is opening and I walk through and I'm in the bathroom. And notice there's also a fan animating. So that's what we're going to talk about right now is a uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's super simple and super easy. But again, this is a Revit model coming into Twin Motion. So first, what do you change about the Revit export? Okay. So the only difference here is I'm still exporting the whole model just as before. If I go under VG or VV, Visibility Graphics, and I go down to Doors, and I expand it, what you'll notice is that I've turned off my hardware and my panel. Okay. So Doors is on. Doors are on but I turned off hardware and panel. And then I made a separate 3D view called door panels only. Okay. So now these door panels are only. So if I go to visibility graphics for this, you could see I have doors on and I just have hardware and panels on for this. And the reason for that is when you, even if you bring in a whole Revit model and you bring it in keeping hierarchy, the frame and the panel tend to be the same object in twin motion. Okay. So by doing this now I can export this guy. So I go over to view twin motion, export to Datasmith, and you can see I have one here called doors. And then I'll go back to my 3D one and I'll do uh, twin motion, export to Datasmith, and I'll override the, the main file. Okay. So now I have two exports. Now in twin motion, I brought in my north wing file. So let me just do this again. So if I turn off my doors, you'll see it's just the panels, right? So in my imports, now I have two imports, I have my split level master suite, and then I have my north wing doors file. Okay. And again, the key here is that if I didn't do it this way, these door panels would be combined with the frames. Now notice they're actually two separate pieces. Okay, so I already have one here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this door operable. Actually, let's make the closet door operable. Okay, so how do we make it operable? It's actually super, super simple. So notice I can select the door and you can see over here, I can select the door and it does this thing, right? Okay, one thing you could also do just to, just to let you guys know is that you could also turn the collision off from doors as well um, by bringing it in this way. So if you didn't want it to open, but you wanted to be able to walk through it in walk mode, um, then you could do that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to tools uh, and, and to our library and there's an animator selection. And under animators is translators and rotators. I'm just going to click rotators. I'm going to click the rotator and I'm going to put it real close to the, to the hinge. You can adjust this afterwards, but I'm going to put it as close as I can to the hinge. And now you can see it actually selected it here and here's my rotator. Okay. So it's pretty much on the hinge. If I zoom out a little, you can see it. Okay. So now it's just there. It's not doing anything. So what do you need to do? Well, you need to actually link it to objects. So the way you do that is you select your rotator over here. You select the little object link right there, and then you select your door. And just like that, you'll see the door starts opening, which is pretty cool, right? Now you need to change the settings, right? So we're going to keep it at 90 degrees, which is fine. And then you could do different things. You could do a loop. You could do ping pong where it does this back and forth. You could change the speed a little bit if you want, or you could just click it to once. Okay. And if you do once, that's fine. But you want what you want to do is you want to enable the trigger. Okay. So again, I put it on once and then I click enable for the trigger. And then for the trigger, you can set a zone. So you'll notice I'm our, I'm about three meters. So let me just set this to two meters. And you'll notice it closes, right? So now what that means is when I get close to this door within two meters, it's going to open for me. And if I back away, it's going to close. If I do this, it's going to open and then it's going to close. Notice this one is open. So you may want to find a distance that kind of makes sense for what you're doing. Like maybe 2.5 makes sense. Maybe three meters makes sense. Let's see. That's not too bad. And then the way you adjust you, the way you adjust any other rotator is the same thing. You just select the rotator. So I'm going to select this door now, select the rotator. And let's say I want to change this to a 2.5 meter. Sure. With this one, I think I want it to stay open when I go in the bathroom and notice this, the other door open when I was going through. So, Maybe you don't want that, maybe you adjust it, but either way, you can see if I back up, that door closes. And notice the speed was different too. So if I go to this guy, I'll change the speed to, what did I have this one set to? 
one eight. So I think I like that speed. So I'll go here and I'll set this to 0 0.18, enter. There we go. Now they're closing. So that's how you make doors open and close in twin motion. Pretty cool, right? Super simple. The fan, same object, except instead of a trigger, I just have it going in, th in 360 degrees over and over again. So you can make objects animate. So the key is you want to import them and you want to select keep hierarchy. Okay. You want to be able to make sure that your doors are coming in separate as panels, separate from your buildings. And then it's as simple as adding animators and rotators and adjusting them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before you sign off from this video though, I did want to mention that this is the last week for you to register for Niche BIM 2024. If you don't know what that is, that is a conference that I am hosting here in Connecticut on September 9th. And it is focused solely on small firm, sole practitioner architects using BIM to do small scale residential architecture. I have some amazing speakers coming. Myself, Brenton, Dan Stein, Nicholas Cotillier, Alex Core. We have a pack, packed uh, day, uh, one day event um, with an awesome happy hour to close it out with some incredible sessions. And of course, you also get five AIA CEUs. So please, if you are interested in joining us today is the last week. This week is the last week to register. So head on over to nichebim.com. That's N-I-C-H-E-B-I-M.com. I hope to see you guys in September. Cheers and have an awesome night.